A former gang member comes up with a plan to help some impoverished children in Alabama, but he was killed before completing his mission. And now to honor his memory, two of his longtime friends working with Homeboy Industries completed the project for him. Our news partners at the LA Times traveled with the pair to Alabama. Homeboy Industries has been very successful. We're the biggest gang intervention and prevention program in the nation. We've been doing this for already 21 years, so there's something right that we're doing. Well, as for me, I was asked to come to Alabama and take the opportunity. And for me, I, I felt it as an honor. In reality, these kids are us, you mean? It's exactly the same thing, right? Poverty-wise, gang culture-wise, a little different, right? But the way we were raised, family structures, it's the same thing. What the homeboys have expressed, and I guess there's been about 11 of them come at this point, is they see almost an apathy, a total given up kind of thing that they are not used to. How can I say, uh, I don't know, I, I've, I've never seen a place like this, you know? So I really, it's hard for me to kind of describe it, but it's like a third world country, you know? Shooting, raping, stealing, breaking in people's holes, robbing stoves, just doing everything you can mention in the book. I just don't like living in a neighborhood like this. It feels scary. A touching story that you don't want to miss. And you can watch the complete LA Times special video report tomorrow at LATimes.com.